Glenda May Jackson, CBE, is a British actress and Labour Party politician. She first became a member of Parliament in 1992, and represented Hampstead and Kilburn until 2015. As a professional actress from the late 1950s, she spent four years as a member of the Royal Shakespeare Company from 1964, being particularly associated with the work of director Peter Brook. During her film career, she won two Academy Awards for Best Actress, for Women in Love and A Touch of Class. Other award-winning performances include Alex in the film Sunday Bloody Sunday and the BBC television serial Elizabeth R. For the latter she received an Emmy. From 1992 to 2010, Jackson was the MP for Hampstead and Highgate, and early in the government of Tony Blair served as a junior transport minister from 1997 to 1999, later becoming critical of Blair. After constituency boundary changes for the 2010 general election, her majority of 42 votes was one of the closest results of the entire election. She announced in 2011 that she would stand down as an MP at the 2015 general election. Early life and career Jackson was born in Birkenhead on the Wirral, Cheshire, where her father was a builder, and her mother worked in shops and as a cleaner. Jackson was educated at the West Kirkby County Grammar School for Girls, and performed at the town's Women's Guild Drama Group during her teens. She worked for two years in a branch of the Boots the Chemist chain before taking up a scholarship in 1954 to study at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. Jackson made her professional stage debut in Terence Rattigan's Separate Tables in 1957 while at RADA, and appeared in repertory for the next six years. Her film debut was a bit part in this sporting life. A member of the Royal Shakespeare Company for four years from 1964, she originally joined for director Peter Brooks' Theatre of Cruelty season which included Peter Weiser Mara, Sade in which she played an inmate of an asylum portraying Charlotte Corday, the assassin of Mara. The production ran on Broadway in 1965 and in Paris and Jackson also appeared as Ophelia in Peter Hall's production of Hamlet in the same year. Critic Penelope Gilead thought Jackson was the only Ophelia she had seen who was ready to play the prince himself. The RSC's staging at the Old Witch Theatre of U.S., a protest play against the Vietnam War, also featured Jackson, and she appeared in its film version, Tell Me Lies. Later that year, she starred in the psychological drama Negatives, which was not a huge financial success but won her more good reviews critical and commercial success. Jackson's starring role in Ken Russell's film of Women in Love led to her winning her first Academy Award for Best Actress. Brian McFarlane, the main author of the Encyclopedia of British Film, has written, Her blazing intelligence, sexual challenge and abrasiveness were at the service of a superbly written role in a film with a passion rare in the annals of British cinemas in the process of gaining funding for the music lovers from United Artists. Russell explained it as, the story of a homosexual who marries a nymphomaniac, the couple being the composer P.Y.O.T.R. Ilyich Tchaikovsky and Antonina Milyakova played by Jackson. This film received mixed reviews in the U.S. The anonymous reviewer in Variety wrote of the two principles, the performances are more dramatically bombastic than sympathetic, or sometimes even believable. Jackson was initially interested in the role of Sister Jean in The Devils, Russell's next film, but turned it down after script rewrites in deciding that she did not wish to play a third neurotic character in a row. In order to play Queen Elizabeth I in the BBC's serial Elizabeth R., Jackson had her head shaved. After the series was shown on PBS in the US, Jackson received two Emmy Awards for her performance. She also portrayed Queen Elizabeth in the film Mary, Queen of Scots, and gained a BAFTA for her role in John Schlesinger's Sunday Bloody Sunday. In that year British exhibitors voted her the sixth most popular star at the British box office.
and she appeared in a comedy sketch as Cleopatra for the Morkim and Wise show. Filmmaker Melvin Frank saw her comedic potential on the Morkim and Wise show and offered her the lead female role in his next project. She gained a second Academy Award for Best Actress for A Touch of Class. She continued to work in the theatre, and returned to the RSC to play the lead role in Ibsen's Hedda Gabler. A later film version directed by Nunn was released as Hedda for which Jackson was nominated for an Oscar. In 1978, she scored box office success in the United States in the romantic comedy House Calls, which co-starred Walter Matthau. Jackson and Matthau teamed again in the comedy Hopscotch, which was a mild success, but not as popular than had been expected. For her 1980 appearance on The Muppet Show, she told the producers that she would perform any material they liked. This turned out to be a role where she has a delusion that she is a pirate. Captain Who hijacks the Muppet Theatre as her ship. Later acting career. In 1985, she appeared on Broadway as Nina Leeds in a revival of Eugene O'Neill's Strange Interlude at the Nederlander Theatre in a production which had originated in London the previous year and ran for eight weeks. John Beaufort for the Christian Science Monitor wrote, Bravura is the inevitable word for Miss Jackson's display of feminine wiles and brilliant technique, Frank Rich. In the New York Times thought Jackson, with her helmet of hair and gashed features, when Leeds is a young woman, looks like a cubist portrait of Louise Brooks, and later when the character has aged several decades, is mesmerizing as a Zelda Fitzgerald-esque neurotic, a rotting and spiteful middle-aged matron and finally, a spent. Sphinx-like widow happily embracing extinction, Herbert Wise directed a British television version of O'Neill's drama which was first broadcast in the U.S. as part of PBS's American Playhouse in January 1988. In 1989, Jackson appeared in Ken Russell's The Rainbow, playing Anna Brangwyn, mother of Gudrun the part which had won her her first Academy Award 20 years earlier. Also in that year she played Martha in a Los Angeles production of Edward Albee's Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, at the Doolittle Theatre. Directed by the playwright himself, this staging featured John Lithgow as George. Dan Sullivan in the Los Angeles Times wrote that Jackson and Lithgow performed with the assurance of dedicated character assassins not your higher and salary types, with the actors being able to display their character's capacity for antipathy. LB was disappointed with this production, pointing to Jackson whom he thought had retreated back to the thing she can do very well, that ice-cold performance. I don't know whether she got scared, but in rehearsal she was being Martha, and the closer we got to opening the less Martha she was. She performed the lead role in Howard Barker's scenes from an execution as Galaxia, a 16th-century female Venetian artist, at the Almeida Theatre in 1990. It was an adaptation of Barker's 1984 radio play in which Jackson had played the same role. Political career Jackson retired from acting in order to stand for election to the House of Commons in the 1992 general election, subsequently becoming the Labour MP for Hampstead and Highgate. Following a period as Shadow Minister for Transport, following the 1997 general election, she was appointed as Parliamentary Under Secretary of State in the government of Prime Minister Tony Blair, with responsibility for London Transport, a post from which she resigned in 1999 before an unsuccessful attempt to be nominated as the Labour Party candidate for the election of the first. Mayor of London in 2000. In the 2005 general election, she received 14,615 votes, representing 38.29% of the votes cast in the constituency. As a high-profile backbencher, she became a regular critic of Blair over his plans to introduce higher education tuition fees in England, Wales and Northern Ireland. She also called for him to resign following the judicial inquiry by Lord Hutton in 2003 surrounding the reasons for going to war in Iraq and the death of government advisor drive. David Kelly 
Jackson was generally considered to be a traditional left-winger, often disagreeing with the dominant Blairite governing third-wave faction in the Labour Party. Jackson is also a Republican. By October 2005, her problems with Blair's leadership swelled to a point where she threatened to challenge the Prime Minister as a stalking horse candidate in a leadership contest if he did not stand down within a reasonable amount of time. On 31 October 2006, Jackson was one of 12 Labour MPs to back Plaid Cymru in the Scottish National Party's call for an inquiry into the Iraq War. Her constituency boundaries changed for the 2010 general election. The Gospel Oak and Highgate wards became part of Hoburn and St Pancras, and the New Hampstead and Kilburn constituency switched into Brent to include Bronsbury, Kilburn and Queen's Park wards. On 6 May 2010, Jackson was elected as the MP for the New Hampstead and Kilburn constituency with a margin of 42 votes over Conservative Chris Philp with the Liberal Democrat candidate Edward Fordham less than a thousand votes behind them. She had the second closest result and second smallest majority of any MP in the 2010 election. In June 2011, Jackson announced that, presuming the Parliament elected in 2010 lasted until 2015, she would not seek re-election. She explained, I will be almost 80 and by then it will be time for someone else to have a turn. The eventual election was held two days before her 79th birthday. In April 2013, Jackson gave a speech in Parliament over discussion about the death of Margaret Thatcher. In a scathing speech criticizing Thatcher's policies, she accused Thatcher of treating vices as virtues and stated that because of Thatcherism England was susceptible to unprecedented unemployment, rates and homelessness. Another speech of Jackson's went viral in June 2014 when she gave a scathing assessment of Ian Duncan Smith's tenure as Secretary of State for Work and Pensions telling him that he was responsible for the destruction of the welfare state and the total and utter incompetence of his department, personal life, and owners. Jackson has a son, Dan Hodges, born in 1969 from her marriage to Roy Hodges. He is a Labour Party advisor and commentator, and a well-known political blogger who describes himself as a Blairite cuckoo. She was five months pregnant when filming on Women in Love was completed. Her marriage to Hodges lasted from 1958 until their divorce in 1976. In 1978, she was awarded a CBE, Filmography, Awards, 1971, won Best Actress in a Leading Role, Women in Love, 1972, nominated Best Actress in a Leading Role, Sunday Bloody Sunday, 1974 won Best Actress in a Leading Role, A Touch of Class, 1976, nominated Best Actress in a Leading Role, Header, 2006.